Ruth here, and this is my crafter's companion haul, number um, 16. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put this on my lap. So one thing I ordered was this opal version illusion film. So how they did it was to put both the, the matte layers together so both sides were shiny and they iron them together. Um, there's also three other colors. The uh, seashell, tropical, sunset, and coral. By the way. Yeah. I just chose this one because I have to choose one, not more than one. <laughs> and then um, that I believe was four ninety eight. How about I just put this right here? Because I might as well show you. I got this. It was on sale. It's a goodie bag, so I thought I wanted a small thing I could put on my lap and do in bed. Like do the at least the the quick small die cuts, so I wouldn't have to yeah the huge machine every time I wanted to do a small thing, you know, because I'd have to move everything around on my desk if I did. So I thought I'd get a small one to do the small things quickly. And it's a uh, folder base, not a uh, plate base, so it's uh, a bit easier and quicker to die cut in. It's my first Crackers Companion Gemini product. You know, I've been buying from Crackers Companion for ages. I didn't think I'd need a small one when I have, you know, the bigger Spellbinders Platinum on my desk. I can, I thought, you know, since it was reduced for two, uh, sixty nine ninety nine. Thought, why not? You know? Yeah, I'll open this and just at the end to have to show you. And I bought one, two, three, four, five things in addition to this. So, since it it goes with it, let me show you. I bought these two, the church window and the angel wings. I just love the look of feathered wings and a church window. Designed to work with our illusion film, so separately. Yep. So let's see, the angel wings is $5.99 and the church window is $5.99. with like an outer die and an inner die like with the detail yeah. okay. yep. <clears throat> then because that was a really recent release then I waited a bit before I got those so I just so this one was released more recently. Well, when this video goes up, it's not going to be recent anymore. One a month later. <laughs> but um, this one is called Possum. Isn't that cute? I thought that would go well with the uh, the cat and dog edge uh, die that I already have. This is from the uh, Pets Rule collection. This one was $5.99. And lastly, of the things I, that didn't come with it in the goodie bag, is this very cute, I'm also the Pets Rule collection. 
the paw prints 2D embossing folder. So yeah. I thought that was pretty cute. There's also like this thing, the paw print guy, and cat and dog acrylic stamps in that set, as well as um, some white dots, which I might get another time. So that's some dogs and cats sitting or standing in different. Uh, so let's um, and that one was four ninety nine. Now this whole thing, as I said before, <laughs> was sixty nine ninety nine. But the goodies, the goodies that came with them, are free. And these were what the goodies were. You get the Wishing You a Happy Birthday stamp and metal cutting die. These are similar to the other ones that I got before, but I didn't have this one because it didn't come in that set. Which is, a, which is technically this was also one of the reasons why I kind of urged me to get it because I wanted this to complete my collection. Or the, you know, the, uh, the cutting kind of die. So I had the set of like the. Uh, Congratulations, just for you, um, with love, and, you know, it was in a previous haul. <clears throat> so this is what you get, so like, stamps are wishing you a happy, happy, eat all the cake, wishes are sent to you, and the die is birthday. Love birds, die. I guess you could paper piece or color in like that. What you get is that just the heart with the birds in it. That's cute. Is it Valentine's Day? Or anniversary? Hmm. That's a cute one. Then we have a twirling sheep. We got the front and back stamp of the sheep. Or you can mix and match too. We got the other sets of different apertures cut out in the middle. Anyway, this is a uh, kind of a scalloped square, so it's kind of reminds you of a fluffy cloud or something, I guess. I think a scalp square might have come, come also come in a layout collection of that. Oh well, we'll see. Uh, it was got moon stars dies. And stamps. It's uh you are loved. Little one or you miss. Is it you know, E W E is that the motion? That's pretty cute. Well, just die size, which I guess is the cloud, I mean, square thing. Is that three by three? Anyway, just cute. Twirling shapes, I guess I can put invisible thread or fishing line or something in between the shape on the top, you know, right through, then twirl it, close, and when you open it, it twirls. Make your handmade creations stand out from the crowd using your deli uh, delightful twin character stamp and die sets. So we cut an aperture in front of the card using the shape die. Use the character stamps and die set to create a cute spinning topper. Full instructions are included in the set. There we go. Precious Camellia's Visit Embossing Folder. Another one to add to my collection of embossing folders. Hmm. 
Then we have Floral Mandala Stencil. That's pretty neat. They make a nice background. That's what the design is. It's a 5x7. If you're wondering. At all. Yeah. Things are not gonna stay. Okay, so then we've got <clears throat> another embossing folder, but this is a cut and emboss one. And it's just a art deco print from the long twentieth collection song signature. Two things left. Now it is a sensational succulents, succulent greetings. So, um, Arts and Flowers by Sharon Callis. Sensational succulents. That's the brand and the more well, person and the series. And the item is called Succulent Greetings. And what I can tell. Find out more um, on Instagram, Sharon Callis Crafts, or on Facebook on Callis Craft and Design. There. You go. This is uh, you're wonderful. Just to say, new home, welcome, especially for you, blooming, a little gift. Dot dot dot. And this is not dot dot. Right, this is a dot 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 on the dresser side and missing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> lastly, it is a very lovely Color Your World series Pretty Kaleidoscope. But there is another one called Kaleidoscope. That's a butterfly and vintage butterfly series. This is also butterflies, but I guess this is a, like a pop out kind of one and a shadow die to go with it. By the looks of it, is the shadow die and then the cut in pop out die underneath because it doesn't look it's completely, you know. Because all the lines don't connect, so we might just they, let you just pop up the wings by the looks of it. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I have one of those. By the looks of it, it's two dads. Okay, so I'm just taking my pictures. So here it is the Carcass Companion Gemini Midi Raspberry Cup version. I think it was the, the original version was in purple, was it? The perfect portable manual machine. Or as Ben knows these as simplicity without electricity. And the Gemini MIDI cuts and embosses sizes up to six by nine inches. It's so, a let's make it together on the top. And on the side is a New to die cutting? Meet the Gemini Mitty, your new best friend. Perfect for all of your die cutting projects, this powerful manual machine will deliver fabulous, flawless results with each effortless turn of the handle. You can use it both for lefties and righties. It doesn't say it on there, but you know, it's kind of obvious, you just turn it around. <laughs> Here we have inside is the machine, plastic folder, plastic shim, and user guide. Compatible with most types of thin metal dots. Um, so I guess it's obviously not multimedia dye maybe then? Because those are thicker, obviously. Alright. Um, let's take plate again. 6 by 9. 
or 15.29 centimeters by 22.6 centimeters. So, on the other side is just the uh, UK office, US office, copyright 2023, made in China, not intended to use by children without supervision, and the uh, product code, if you're wondering, is the gem. Two dash, you know, two. That's, that's two eyes. Uh, two. Uh, MIDI dash M G L O. Was a product. I mean, if you wanted to have books, doesn't really matter. Yeah. Hmm. It's got the. Machine picture on the inside flap too. That's neat. I guess normally most things don't bother with the inside part. And the plates, I guess. Let's look at this first since I have it in my hand. Plastic shim. The plastic holder. And the user guide. Ta -da. Oh, it's on this page. It's got the sandwiches. Cutting dies. Um, a card and die inside the plastic folder. Cut side down. And for 3D embossing folders, you just have the card inside the 3D embossing folder, no shims or plastic folder. And the 2D. You got the card inside the 2D embossing folder plus the plastic shape. Not the folder of uh, the main folder it comes with. Hmm. Interesting. And the rest of the oh, and it's in French, Spanish, German, Dutch, and the uh, limited warranty. Thing on the jig. And we weren't here, as you know, no, no things. And then general care to clean or wipe the exterior with a soft, dry cloth. Do not use abrasive cleaners or rough surface sponges. This product is intended for children aged 14 and up and should not be used by younger children without adult supervision. Keep hands away from plates and other parts in motion. Be aware that loose fitting clothing can get caught between the blades and get pulled into the machine. Oh, it's got a very nice picture of the MIDI. Oh, that's the same picture. On the uh, This one. So on the one on there. <laughs> um, and we'll note the on the back. So, that's that. Let's get this. Get this thing out there. Ooh, it still works even in the, <laughs> the suction cups on the bottom. It still works even through plastic packaging. Because, like, it's. And it's strong enough to lift up the glass mat, too, so you'd have to. It's very strong suction cups, let me tell you. Okay, so uh, I guess you know what? Why not? We'll uh, we'll try it out, shall we? So the first thing is a cutting die. So oop, we drop it. That's nice. So that was the outside bit, which I guess you didn't really need to cut out. And here we have the butterflies, so we can just slightly pop out the, uh, the wings. 
like so. Like that. That's pretty. That's a pretty nice one. And if I wanted to, I could actually glue that down and glue this down in the middle of it so I know where to glue it. To have a bigger border than just the flimsy little wings. Is that just a possibility? So that's that one. That's cute. I don't have any pop out kind of dyes like that, so it's nice. Foliage uh, thing. Uh, Easter. Very nice. I just needed to cut out some small things. So, also, maybe, I've got a Easter egg aperture front for a, you know, a layer. Be cute. That's cute. It's the first cut on this side. Cute little bunnies. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that's that's that used. Next up is a 3D embossing folder. Notion. Just the card and the folder. Okay, so I found one. This is a 3D one. Oh, this is 3D effects, so hopefully it is a 3D one. This is from the Dancing Dragonfly series collection for Trog and Lily Pond. Okay. It says 6x4. And it says only the folder and the card. No shit. Or folder. So. I... Just in case. I'll spritz it a tiny bit. With one little spritz. Just to make sure it doesn't crack or anything. It's supposed to be fast or slow, but very nice. So, mm, I've got to put on this one. I'm gonna help him in there. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it's a very nice. No cracks whatsoever, I believe. I think, maybe. Well, if there's like has anything. So that's a success. So that's a 3D. A 3D one. So, next up is the 2D folder, which is a card inside the folder. And a plastic shim, not plastic folder. So let's we'll use the uh, paw prints one that I got today, and I might as well spritz this too, just so it's no even. Let's make sure this spritzer is not aimed at my face. I do this. <laughs> Light missing. You know, it's a, it comes in a set of four. I only ever used one so far. Let's put it all the way up. And it says I need the ship. So let's 
get this out. And the shin is just on the bottom, like a platform. Oh, I don't even have to hold on to it. Suction cups are a great suction. <laughs> okay, doesn't seem much warped after going through once. But I guess this is only for a 2D folder or something really thin. Maybe? I don't know. That was the two, the classic shimmies. And. Ta-da! That's cute. Various different paw prints. Mm, that's very nice. The, uh, the very the chop off is very book work. Just a little punch here. This is very thin, so I'll have to stick it to some other cardstock. Maybe do some ink smushing or I believe it what? I mean it could be what? I could just or just smush pink on it. Or I use it as a part of a card. I don't know. You can do many things. So this was a 3D folder. Now at least it does seem a bit chunky. This is 2D. I guess. Look, I can see the size difference in the folder. This is definitely a 3D one. They should put 3D on the on the cover. Yeah. Oh, but since I got this out, I kind of want to do something with it, you know? So I'll quickly do something with it. Cosmic Collection. I've got plastic on it because when I took the tape off, left sticky. I didn't want that on something, so. It's so pretty. I love it. I don't want to use it. I love it so much. That's pretty. Mm, that's good too. So is that pretty? Ah. What? I don't know I can't remember what I'm looking There we go. Can't really see. Like I can go over it in silver. Well, this would look nice. This is hard too. See? I could go over it in like silver ink. You know, just swipe across slightly. It's like on silver. Well, really, only one of them has a star on the inside. Oh, that's two of them. Three. But still, that's nice. Just kind of go over maybe some of it, or just leave it like that. And just have it just hidden in boss. Very nice. I did all of the sandwiches. Yeah. I'm happy with this. And I'll we'll see if I can stick it to a tray thing. Yeah. Do it in bed. <laughs> I was a bit overzealous and I forgot to check the bottom of the box. And this was in the bottom of the box. Luckily when I gave mom the box to put in the recycling box in the laundry room, she actually checked because, you know, we fold down a box to fit more in the box. Anyway, um, yeah, so this was on the bottom. The mini, uh, 
party set. With cake, candle, present box, and two balloons. So I'm curious what they look like. So I think that came off sort of okay. Huh. Very nice and simple. Two balloon cups with a string guy, present box, and a cake. Then what it looks like a sort of type of pie or something than a cake or anything. Yeah. And it comes with a candle. That's nice. So I guess you could like either color in or paper paste the uh, inside of the candle because they show it's a different color here. Same with the present box and the uh, circles and the balloons. I guess. Because I guess not all of the uh, balloons circles are cut out. As you see. Anyway, so that's it. <laughs> so, um, yes, I think I'll insert this one before the last clip. While I was putting things away, I had a thought. I thought, since you can, with like the spell blenders, um, die cutting machine, can you emboss stencils with this? So I put the stencil I got today in this, got some black piece of, I think it's 220 or something, part of GSM, but I thought I'd try to emboss the stencil with it, you know? I mean, why not, right? Oh, it did work. Very, it's a very, very, very light. Embossed, which you can't really see, but it did work. But can I go deeper? Well, I'll turn this thing around and put the shin in. I mean, that works, right? Put the shin in. Will that work? I mean, it won't be too too thick, would it? Break it so it does feel like it would be to something. So then maybe I'll put another piece of cardstock in here on top. Don't know if that'll help. So I'm gonna cover a tiny bit of it. Lots of times that I guess to me. You can't really see it at all. And I was going for a firmer, but it is a bit firmer, so you can emboss. Maybe you can sort of see it. You know, focuses. There we go, you can see that now. So thank you for watching. Alright.